Hey guys, uh, so you guys got to see the trip and all that, and then there was a there was a section in there on the junkyard that I went to. Uh, I picked up some parts I needed for a couple of the projects I got going on out here. Uh, but we drove all over the place out there looking at all kinds of stuff. And um, I only put some of the stuff in that last video. So I wanted to go ahead and follow that up with this video, which is more of the full tour um, with less editing and, and whatnot. But, uh, you know, the last part of the video, you're going to get to see his toy box. And everything in there is for sale. I just wanted you guys to know that. So uh, it was a fun junkyard. You know, a lot of classic cars in there, and a lot of really good classic cars uh, that just look so good. So, um, anyways, I just want to let you guys see that full, uh, you know, the full version of it. See all the different cars, see the, you know, I'm sorry that it goes a little fast. Uh, he hurt his ankle the, uh, the night before. So, uh, we just piddled around in the cart and so kind of went a little faster than I would have liked. I'd have been liked to have been out there walking more. But, you know, I didn't want to put him through that. So, uh, enough said. Let's just go ahead and cut right to the, to the video. All right. Well, as you can see, I've made it to the junkyard. Uh, I got Don sitting next to me, and he's uh, going to drive me around. He hurt his ankle last night. So, uh, this is going to be kind of a, a drive-by tour and see everything. Uh, while we're out here running around, I had a few things that I'm kind of looking for. And uh, so one of those is for my Dodge truck. I'd like to put, you know, like an early 60s cab, Dodge cab on um, and uh, turn it into a flatbed. I think that would be a cool project and a nice work truck. Um, but I've also been wanting to get a wagon uh, somewhere in the 60s, low 60s, you know, era. So here's a nice look, Chevy. Um, but yeah, so I'm just looking for something like that. So. You know, uh, I'm picking up a few parts from a 65 uh, and my daughter's convertible 72 BW. So when I'm uh, done with that, then we're going to go see if we can't find those cars and follow driving around and see how nice and cool looking cars and old stuff out here. So we'll, uh, we'll work our way through this and, um, you know, uh, point out some, some uh, interesting things. And uh, right now there's a bunch of new stuff we're seeing, but uh, we'll get there. And you're going to want to stick around uh, for the second half of this video. He's got some pretty cool cars in his toy box. You're going to want to see this. All right, so there's not something you're going to see every day. That tree is huge and growing up through that car. I've never seen a tree that big growing up in a car. See that car right there? That's in pretty good shape right there. Boy, it's just like never ending. Just so many cars out here. So many of them just really good shape. You know, little rust. Just really cool to see this many cars in one place that are in just such good shape. Tell you what, there is something for everybody in here. There's just so many different types of vehicles. Uh, older, there's some newer stuff. Uh, clearly, that's just some stuff that he's got for uh, selling parts on. But uh, all these classics, there's just so many, you know, different uh, brands out here. You know, makes and, and models and. Uh, yeah, he's, he's just got so much to look at. Uh, this, is, this has been a lot of fun. And I, I just, this is dangerous for me. I could spend a lot of money here, I can tell you that. So, uh, 
So uh, these old Dodges uh, here are perfect for uh, swapping out the cab on my Dodge that I'm driving now. Huh. I like this one. The fenders are gone, but well, yeah. one fender's gone. One door's gone. That red one? This one, yeah. Oh, there's the door. Nope, that's a green door. I don't know, I like it. Maybe we'll keep that in mind with we'll the support. That's about what I'm looking at. Something something along you want the old boxy truck. Yeah, I'm looking to go with the more box up truck. Not really wanting to go to this year because it's sixty to sixty six probably. So Okay. I got some other ones. Yeah, even up to even as You know, I know I looked at some 59s. I like them. They're pretty close to the same thing. Yep, something like that. That's got pretty good. Yeah, it just needs a hood. Hood's over there on the other side. Take a look at that one. Well, I think we found a winner on this one, guys. This one here would make the perfect cap swap for my truck. I love this one. The, the patina's great. The style is good. Most everything's there. I like it. Did you, I don't see any writing on this one for the year. Say again? I don't see anywhere of the year on this one. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, inside, outside, everything looks pretty good. Well, that's a definite. I'm going to get that one, but I'm going to have to come back for that one. Uh, I don't have room for it today. looking one now. I like it. Let's go see it. Those fenders are pretty rusted. Let's go buy the motor for it. Yeah, I know. But it's a, I think it's a pretty cool looking truck.
that's an early one. Because they have the old flip levers on there. Fairlane Squire. Yep. Ha! Huh. I like the way it looks. You know, wood grain. <laughs> the grill's still there. Good shape. Body looks good. Dash is garbage. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and the floors seem solid in this thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, back here's the best part. The seat folds up in the back exactly what we wanted and it's folded up. You can see it pretty cool. <laughs> yep. I mean, the hubcaps all look to be in really good shape from what I can see. Uh, the trim around the wood grain is all there and in good shape. The glass is in good shape. I mean, this thing here, I could get it running and driving. It's in really good shape. It is. I don't see any dings or... It looks pretty well original. Rust and everything, yeah, everything looks original. Yeah. 91. So it has run recently. <laughs> Relative to its age. I don't know. This is uh, pretty good. Open the hood and see if I wrote on a real forward. Bang on the top of the handle. Just get the air. Oh, it's in there. Everything's there, isn't it? Yep. Does it say where I wrote onto the marker that I ran it? I don't see anything. You guys right on the air center on the top of the course board. Nope. This all looks original. Uh doesn't look like it's been messed with at all. Yeah, looks looks really good underneath here. Huh. Yeah, looks like there's a little dent right there around the Ford emblem. Yeah, I mean, 
Oh, I'll tell you, this is just such a clean car. I really like this. I mean, I really like this car. I'm definitely going to have to get this car. Yep, there's that seat again. Look at it, it's in such good shape, too. Yeah, really, really liking this. Oh, there you go. Well, look at that Scout. That's in pretty good shape. This is the aluminum block, right? Yeah. Okay. That looks pretty well all there too. <laughs> the dirt. The last time's are right on. That's the only thing about this one I don't care for is the dash. It's just a really weird looking dash. That whole speedometer up there. We have to... So I don't know whether this folds up. It looks like it probably does. I don't know. You see the hinges in here. Yeah, it looks like it might, though. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's got two sets of... Yeah, it does, because it's got two sets of hinges. Two sets of hinges. But you'd think there'd be a third one in here somewhere to make that fold into a seat or something. 73. Mm -hmm. Well, this is on your website too. So I looked at it there. I like, uh, I like the other one. I like the dash and everything on the other one better. Okay, so I mean, check out that Lincoln. That's a that's a really big car. It looks nice though. I like the Fairlane Squire. Yeah, I think you guys could can just look as we're driving along here and, and see that I could easily spend a couple of days here just looking through all of these cars. There's just so many of them and. Honestly, there's so many that are in such a good shape. You know, you're not dealing with complete rust buckets. Uh, you know, these are cars that are in pretty good shape. There's another Scout. Uh, I love it. I, I could spend so much time here. Oh, man. I think you're right. These are pretty narrow. I think the other one will probably fit. There's your old Willys. <laughs> Man, the truck's in really good shape. This is one of your project trucks, right? Yeah. All these are. Yeah, I remember. I remember a lot of these from your website. This one here looks like it's had some, uh, something happened to it. It's got new doors, they don't fit well. Yeah. I noticed that when I was looking at the pictures that overall it looked pretty good, but there were some, some things. Yeah.
This is amazing. I mean, if you guys ever get a chance to go see a, a, a classic car junkyard like this, you really need to, you know, jump on it. Oh, that's a 54, yeah. That's a pretty solid car. It is a pretty solid car. I'm not really what I'm looking for, yeah, but things there. Make a good project for somebody for sure. Motor turns over. Home is nice. Yep. Half the battle having it all there. Yeah, my, uh, my son doesn't know it yet, but um, I'm going to secure this one for him. So he's been wanting to do a uh, scout project. And, uh, this is in pretty good shape. It's got some, uh, it's got some uh, issues in the, in the skins, but uh, it's nothing that can't be fixed. And, uh, but it's got everything he wants, and uh, it just should make a pretty good project. I'll introduce you guys to the lawnmowers. Muffin, <laughs> come here. Hey guys. Muffin. Hey guys. <laughs> come on, Bob. Where are you going? Hey. Hey, little one. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Come here. Let's go. Come on. Well, they came out to say hi. Very nice of them. Come, Come on. on. Come on. You're going to oh, get yourself sure. in trouble with the llamas. Those things can kick fast and you can see them. Yeah, they were getting threatened by me. I knew I had to get out of there. <laughs> they can spit, too. Alright, let's go see what's in the super special shop. All right, let's see what barn finds you have in here. <laughs> wow, look at you. <laughs> look at you. What in the world? You got all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Well, well, how about that? Gotcha. Mustang back in here. You got you a Corvette. You want me to strip that down for you? I'm getting pretty good at it. <laughs> Look at this car. Look at that. Bel Air, what year is this? Look at this. 60,000 miles. 60,000 original miles you got here. <laughs> it's all original. Wow. This is, this is an amazing time capsule. <laughs> wow. What would you have to have for something like that? 17,000. 17? Yep. Unbelievable. That's nice. Well, look at you. I got you. Look at this stuff, eh? Yeah, it's like it's like powder, and then it turns to like cement. Yeah, this is probably four inches deep. Just blows in here. Yeah, it comes through them little 
Oh, I see. Oh, you had a hailstorm. That's right. And then it just comes in here. Yep. Well, this is a nice looking wagon too. What is this? Is that a Biscayne? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You got some nice stuff in here. Look at the Monte Carlo. What year is that? 76. 76. That's in really good shape, too. Yeah, that, that's nice. Well, you do have some, some gems in here. You're right about that. You got a Galaxy 500. It's a nice looking car. Is that a rag top? No, it's a... Oh, it's a vinyl top that's peeling. Yep. Vinyl, vinyl top going color. Yep. Look at that. That Monte Carlo, that's in really good shape. I uh, that's that's about the same as the one I had when I was a kid in high school. This is another sixty thousand mile. Sixty thousand mile, man. Look at you. And is this the same thing, kind of a time capsule? Kind of a time capsule. The Impala. Yeah, it's an Impala. Very Impala nice. 1972. Huh. That's nice. That, that Mustang runs and drives. Look at this. Did you, did you buy this like this? You restore it? No, I bought it just like that. Macy Ferguson. I saw it. Macy Harris. Look at that. Look at that, it's nice. There's always people looking for these old tractors. You got your dune buggy back here. You got a few Mustangs in here. You, uh, you, uh, a fan of them? Huh. What you got over here in a convertible? Plymouth. Plymouth what? Fury. Huh. It's in really good shape, too. It's in really good shape, too. Looks like maybe a little dent up here in that front fender. Can't tell. <laughs> 30,000 mile Riviera. Is that the uh, boat? Oh, those are people looking for those. <laughs> I bought that in 1974 with 14,000 miles. Man, people looking for this kind of stuff. That Chevette over there? Yeah. 69 Chevette's got a 455 engine in the back seat. Holy cow. That little thing's got a. <laughs> Now talk about your your sleeper. Got a couple snakes on it to scare you. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. This is your little toy box, huh? How much is this is for sale? Which one's that? I'm just curious. What? Any of them? Any of them for sale? Yeah, all of them. Are. Oh, all of them are for sale. Oh, you you need to clean them up and get them listed. 
Man, all right. Very cool. There's I nice like it. 55 Bel Air. Missed that one, I saw it over there. We hadn't looked at it, but I saw it over there. Oh, easy. <laughs> Yep, jam that in there. It barely fits. Put that in there, but it got it in. Yeah, there's not a lot of room. <laughs> I had to move. I had to move him the radiator up inside the course port. To yep. Get in there. Man, it's pretty fast. You can go along there. It's in nice shape too. You can go 35 mile an hour, kick it down past here, and start smoking a tire. <laughs> <laughs> That's 55 Bel Air. Yep. It's for sale. 55 and in really good shape yeah inside outside really good shape what's it got uh, under the hood it's got a 327 motor 327 look at that it's a three-speed overdrive on a column okay it's got i put the newer transmission in so it's fully synchronized three -speed. okay 21 miles a gallon And you got this. Yeah, that's my 62 mil, I was going to say, it looks like you got some racing in this. Old yeller. They cut the wheel well. Wheel wells used to be this tall because this body's on it. Uh huh. Little bitty ones, you know, 13 inch tires. Okay. Cut these out and made wheel well moldings and put a straight axle. Got swivel, swivel money seats in it. Well oh. My old Monty had the swivel seats too. Well, there's a Chevelle dash in it. <laughs> put a four pan out of an Impala in it, so he got room to put the seats in. Nice. <laughs> you got lots of fun stuff. John Deere. You use this? Yep. Tractor? No. No, I got a I got an acre. <laughs> got a nice uh got a 39 Ford standard and a Camaro over there. Okay, what do we got here? No, just an old Merc. Just an old Merc. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, yep. Very nice. We got the old Camaro. What's the uh, what's this one up here? Oh, spider web. That one there is 39 Ford standard. I've had three American race. 39 Ford, huh? And it was what? I, I, uh, Interstate Battery put on a race in 1983. It's the first one I had of both antique cars. From Anaheim, California to Indianapolis. I restored that car. It's got the original mohair in it. Huh. And ran it from there to Indianapolis. Okay. 43 days. I did. Well, okay, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this one up here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed checking out this uh, junkyard and his toy box as much as I did.